welcome to another episode of Striker's Den. And today's topic is boxing. On Saturday, there were a few events. You had one boxing event here at O2 Arena in London, George Joyce versus Chisora. You had in Manchester UFC 304. And, and there was another event was going on in Japan as well. Probably you guys missed it. Manny Pacquiao versus Rukia Ampo. I will not go into the details of UFC 304. You must have seen a lot of reaction videos, highlights and all that. Bilal Muhammad won the UFC 304. And there was another fight, boxing, very exciting fight. Joe Joyce versus Chisora. Chisora beat Joe Joyce with a unanimous decision. If, you, if I just talk about this particular fight, if someone asks me that how not to fight uh, Chisora, I will actually send them this fight, Joe Joyce vs Chisora. Joyce did exactly those things which he, he shouldn't have done that, mean fighting in the close range, the mid range. Chisora, very tough guy, very durable guy, you giving him opportunity to work in the mid range, where, wherever he is swinging, whether he is those short hands, short overhand, short hooks, to the body, to the head, wherever he was swinging, is a big Joe Joyce, he is there to take those shots. Big, big congratulations to Chisora, that was a great fight, he again showed that what a man that is, that was a really exciting fight. If you guys missed it, definitely watch that fight, it is worth watching that fight. But my today's topic is Manny Pacquiao vs Rokia Ampo. So actually I want to talk about a Manny Pacquiao fight, probably, so you must have seen a lot of people have covered the UFC 304, Chisora vs Joe Joyce as well and not many people actually uh, talking about Manny Pacquiao vs Ampo fight. Um, some people did but uh, there are not many videos around this fight was done under Ryzen promotion and if you guys uh, don't know the Rokia Ampo is a K1 uh, champion he defended his K1 belt two times as well he is the same guy who fought Bokau as well and uh, he had a draw with Bokau he's a six foot tall guy he fight roughly he he's fighting weight is around 70 kg and uh, Manny Pacquiao maximum he ever fought is 66 kg so definitely massive size and weight advantage for Ampo and but surprisingly when Pacquiao came into the ring he didn't really it didn't look like that he was ready for the fight he was looking big uh, bulky he was not the normal Pacquiao like a fit Pacquiao we see we then we know that Rokia Ampo he is a K1 champion his hands are really really good he's a big tall guy he is even taller he, he is even taller guy for 70 kg guys as well but Manny Pacquiao was fighting him so it was a three round exhibition fight it didn't look like an exhibition fight because uh, Ampo was there to take uh, Manny's head off in first round he caught Manny multiple times with his uh, right hand, left hook and right hand as well. He also, then he realized that Manny Pacquiao was not responding the way normally he does. He also started going to Manny's body as well. So definitely he won easily the first round. Then he went to the second round where he took the charge again. He used left hand, right jab and his cross as well he was uh, measuring many pretty well many was not able to close the distance even though he was he's a very tall very rangy guy but normally many is used to fighting with the taller guys but this time it didn't look like many was just kind of uh, taking his time trying to get into rhythm but it was only three rounds fight then of course you can't really get into the rhythm in three rounds fight so because Ampo he's always used to fighting three rounds or five rounds and his pace was like quick so he's uh, he was sharp he was quick he's moving around well as well he's throwing his jabs um, cross his left hook um, cross to the body um, he won clearly first first two round for the third round that was the round when Manny knew that okay this is the round where he can actually push the pace but when he pushed the pace the Ampo guy, he also uh, pushed the pace as well. So he was ready 
to actually go toe to toe with the uh, uh, Manny, and he caught Manny with the punch- big punches over there as well. Even Manny had a lot of success over there as well. He managed to give some good shots to uh, Ampo. I mean, he was really clever that whenever he was caught, he actually he would move out and then come back again. So he wasn't really uh, standing all the time in front of Manny. But yeah, so he was trying to um, stay on his long range and getting his uh, punches going. And Manny was really struggling. He's not the champion Manny Pacquiao we normally see. He was struggling with the uh, he was struggling with the distance, with the speed, with the, the head movement as well. But what do you expect? Look like he was he, he didn't get ready for the fight. Okay, so even though the three round, I think uh, Rocky Ampo won won those three rounds, and I would give fight to him. But but looking at the last round, the way Manny finished, I think if he prepared for the boxing fight, a full 10 to 12 rounds, I think he will stop um, Rocky. Maybe um, he will stop Ampo. Maybe in fifth or sixth round or maybe later round he can easily stop him um, but of course for this particular fight Manny didn't look that he was uh, really ready it didn't look like that he been through a fight camp he looked like he just basically came in then he just fought but in a, in a boxing match for like a normal 10 to 12 rounds match I don't think that he has ability to beat Pacquiao even still I think Pacquiao beats him anyway it was great watching the champ again if you want me to go through other uh, fights like UFC 304 OG Sora versus um, Joe Joyce please comment and I will do that thank you very much for tuning in I will see you again thank you bye